This weekend will mark a solemn anniversary, 25 years since the mass shooting at Columbine High School. It has changed many things, the way schools are designed, the way warning signs are spotted, and even the way the fear that some students have just showing up for class every day. Investigative reporter Dan Krauth has more on the impact on local schools and what we can expect moving forward. An unbelievable scene of horror erupts at a Colorado high school. It's the first mass school shooting most people remember, one that changed the way schools operate and how students live with their unfortunate reality. How does it feel being a teenager going to school in today's world? Scared, desensitized, I'm living in a new normal. 16-year-old Reem Khalifa wasn't born when the Columbine massacre happened, but she was a kindergartner in New York City during the mass shooting at Sandy Hook in middle school when a gunman opened fire in Parkland, Florida, and in high school for the tragedy in Uvalde, Texas. It's something that I think about pretty often, and I think it's caused me to have anxiety over. As a student, her safety is something she thinks about every day. I know in all of my classes that, oh, okay, there's a closet there. If there's, we can all fit there, and then we can push the desks at the door, um, and that's how we would stay safe. Today, almost all schools do lockdown drills. Less than half of schools did 25 years ago. Others have changed how their buildings are designed, installing two sets of doors, automatic locks, security cameras, and in New York City, they're in the process of hiring more school safety agents. It keeps me up at night, you know, as far as knowing we're doing everything we can. At South Huntington Schools, the superintendent hired armed guards to stand watch outside schools. How's that going a year later? It's going great because we never had to use them. Uh, so, you know, it's another layer of protection for our staff and students. Students can't visibly see them, but the superintendent knows they're there. Thinking about those kids were at the breakfast table that morning and didn't make it home. That, that plays a big role in, in how I operate. Are schools safer today than they were 25 years ago? 100%. School safety experts say the number one thing all schools can do, spot the warning signs before violence happens. Which is education, anonymous reporting systems, uh, threat assessment programs. Do you have a policy in place that helps identify warning signs with kids and how to tackle those signs? We have mental health providers in all of our buildings, social workers, psychologists. Uh, we have behavior consultants that, you know, and they all work with the teacher as a team. There's something kids have today they didn't have before, cell phones. It makes me feel slightly safer that 911's just three taps away. Then there's social media. There might be warning signs in like the way that people are texting or what they're posting and things like that. Um, so there's that end of it, but then also social media can be used for good. So eventually her kids can focus on schoolwork, not on where to hide in case of an emergency. As a student, as an adolescent, as a youth, it's very real and I feel it every day. I hope that I'll be able to say that we, we've stopped it. Dan Krauth, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.